And so it's not like a demo account where you're trading with fake money because the psychology is a little bit different. Um, yeah. But then you're able to, you know, continue and continue and continue um, and try as many times as you need to in order to get that funded account and be able to uh, become a profitable trader. And so. How are you doing, everybody? Again, a new funded trader uh, video of Trade Pool. And today, Ellie is with me. Ellie is a trader of ours for uh, many months at least. Uh, already been funded a few times with few accounts, uh, got his paychecks, and today he passed another evaluation. So we're going to talk a little bit about the process that he made during this last uh, few months. How's it going, Ellie? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm uh, great. I'm great. And uh, it's amazing to see you again here. You know, you've been with us for a while. Give us the um, what you think about Trader Pool. Let's start from there and dive in. Honestly, it's been a, a great experience. Um, you know, I, I started looking into prop trading um, probably earlier uh, at the beginning of 2023. Uh, ended up finding you guys uh, trade the pool and I've loved it, uh, you know, being able to uh, go through the evaluations, you know, learn how to go through the the process of uh, the prop firm funding, um, and now being able to upgrade from the you know different accounts to different levels. It's it's been a great experience so far. Nice. So you're trading one hundred and sixty thousand uh, dollar buying power, the extra buying power, and uh, that's enough to trade with. What do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, for now, I would say yes, it's enough to trade with for sure. <laughs> okay. Nice. And um, now you've already been a funded trader, right? You have a few uh, funded accounts. You got mm -hmm. your paycheck um, lately, right? Is that yeah. is that was the first one or already second or third? That was the second one. So um, I passed the evaluation. Uh, I forget what it's called, but for the 60,000 one, um, probably three weeks ago and then uh, about a week ago, I got my first um, uh, check from that, essentially. Um, nice. And so, yep. And then I went on to um, go for the extra buying power um, to be able to have the additional buying power and then the um, different split. So Nice. Yeah, because once you upgrade yourself into a bigger tier of buying power, you actually get more split uh, mm -hmm. in the profit. And um, uh, let's talk a little bit about your trading. First of all, if you didn't see, go ahead and check out the first uh, video that we made. Did anything change in your uh, perspective on, over the market or in your trading style? Um, I think uh, through you know these different experiences, I'm definitely learning to uh, try to just be a little bit more selective with the trades that I do. Um, you know, try to make sure that they're within you know my wheelhouse. Um, you know, if, uh, I think for any uh, trader, discipline is definitely the uh, is key. Uh, making sure that you have a good trading psychology, uh, making sure that you're not, you know, uh, getting carried away or trying to revenge trade or anything like that. I think that you know can mess up any trader. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely just trying to learn to just be more selective. Um, you know, trying to uh, definitely jump whenever the opportunity presents itself. Um, and uh, yeah, nice, nice. Okay, so a little bit about your uh, trading. You mostly trade penny stocks, right? Anything? Yeah, mostly uh, small cap. Mm -hmm. uh, anything that you think of changing there, or maybe go now that you have more buying power, maybe try, you know, Tesla, Amazon. Uh, yeah, I've uh, uh, dipped a little bit into some of the the larger caps. Um, haven't necessarily found my footing 100% yet, but uh, definitely something that I plan on on working on, just being able to expand my wheelhouse um, so that I can, um, you know, obviously jump on more opportunities whenever they do present themselves. Yeah, that's uh, that's important, I guess. I just had another interview with another funded trader just a minute ago. And uh, one of the things that I asked him, and that's a great question that I think uh, will be for our listeners, is that how do you handle, um, you know, a different period of time in the market or, you know, a different time that your strategy won't work? What do you do in order to get out of it, I guess? Yeah, I think uh, definitely because that, that definitely happens is, you know, the market will go through, you know, different cycles, things will change. Um, and so for me, I like to study first. 
um, you know, and try to get a feel for, you know, how the market's moving, how the market's reacting, um, and then maybe go in with maybe some small trades, um, things like that, uh, as I feel like I'm getting more and more confident uh, with uh, those trades that I'm taking, you know, then start to increase the size, um, just to make sure that if there's going to be any sort of, um, you know, losses that they're minimal, um, uh, but that I can get a, a good, confident feel for the market, um, be able to, to move forward. Yeah, super important, especially when it comes to, you know, these days, December and then January, the market is just broke into a new high, the NASDAQ, so things are getting crazy. And you're mostly short trading, right? Yeah, yeah. It's funny that you said yesterday there was actually a uh, stock called POL, um, that went from one at a low of one dollar and sixty five cents all the way to ten dollars and eighty five cents, uh, and so oh. that <laughs> that was one that I saw that I was like, yeah, no, I'm not touching that one. Um, but it's <laughs> just you know learning to be disciplined with those things. But yeah, I'm typically a short, uh, typically a short bias trader. Um, being more short biased, I can you know kind of uh, um, see those situations where I definitely don't want to be, and so those are the opportunities where. Uh, I may look into, you know, taking long positions, that sort of thing. And so, like I said, just wanted to expand my wheelhouse a little bit more. Yeah, it will be um, very interesting to watch your trading along the way, especially if you will try those big techs and just uh, try to see where you find your edge in them. If you will continue to short sell or maybe try to buy the dip on those, it will be very interesting uh, to watch your trading. Mm -hmm. So I, I will definitely... Look into your account. <laughs> yeah, Sounds excited. good. Um, so, Eli, anything else? Um, any advice you can share for the guys that want to join, or maybe thinking of joining, or just started the evaluation? Some uh, some insight. Yeah, no, honestly, um, it's been a great experience. I, I was definitely, um, you know, maybe skeptical a little bit and just kind of the prop firm all together, um, but yep. it's been a great experience. You know, like I mentioned, I just got my first check. Um, a week ago, six thousand um, so dollars. Nice. That was exciting, um, yeah. and so uh, definitely an opportunity to learn. I think what the challenge is, what they help you do, is they help you take the time to be able to um, obviously be able to master, you know, your trading strategy. Um, but you know, the the awesome thing is, is that you're able to try um, and have you know that uh, that chance of an evaluation uh, or the funded account on the line. Um, and so it's not like a demo account where you're trading with fake money because the psychology is a little bit different. Um, yeah. But then you're able to, you know, continue and continue and continue um, and try as many times as you need to in order to get that funded account and be able to uh, become a profitable trader. And so, um, you know, like I said, it's been an awesome experience. That's amazing, Ellie. So uh, appreciate you coming over and share some wisdom.